Welcome back everyone, I am Rajiv and in the next few minutes I am going to show you how to add initial configuration on Palo Alto Firewall. As you already know, in the previous video, I installed Panage version 9.0.1 on EVNG. I will highly encourage you to watch that video before watching this one. Otherwise, you will not be able to practice what I will be showing here. If you have a physical device or your lab is already set up, then let's jump to the next part of this video. In this video, I will show you how to add management IP and gateway. I will show you how to add host name and domain name. Then banner and time. I will show you how to add DNS and NTP. And finally, I will show you how to change password for admin account. In this tutorial, I will follow this topology to add the management IP on our Palo Alto firewall. We will add 10.1.1.100 in our management interface we will be accessing from 10.1.1.1 which is management pc and our gateway will be 10.1.1.254 Palo Alto firewall has default ip 192.168.1.1 you can see from this etho0 interface if you check official document by Palo Alto then you will be able to see they clearly mentioned that 192.168.1.1 is the default IP address. Let's log in to the CLI using admin credential, username admin, password is also admin. To configure the IP address, we need to go to configuration mode. We also can see the configuration by running show command. Here you can see DCP client is enabled. It is not a good idea to get IP address from DCP server for management interface. That's why we will change DCP client to static IP. To do that, we need to run set device config system type static and then we will add the IP address. To add the IP address, we need to run set device config system IP address then the IP address 10.1.1.100 and net mask will be 255 255 255.0 then we will add the default gateway to add the default gateway we need to run set device config system default gateway 10.1.254 then we will commit our configuration by running commit force command So we will be able to ping now. Let's ping 10.1.100 from our management PC. Ping is successful. Now let's browse that IP address 10.1.100. We need to proceed to continue. So we are getting the web mode here. We are seeing this warning sign. It says we are using the default username and password. So just hit OK. So we have configured the management IP through the CLI. If you want to check from the web mode, then we need to go to device setup and then interfaces so this is the management interface configuration now we need to click on management you can see ip type is static which we have configured in cli ip address is 10.1.100 subnet mask 255 255 255 and gateway is 10.1.254 HTTPS and SSH is running as an administrative management services. Also ping is allowed. To enable any particular service, we need to mark that service. SNMP in our case. Now we will add the ACL for the management access. 
we will allow management access only from the management IP address. So that block will be 10.1.1.0/24. This is our management IP block. Hit OK. Now click commit and commit the configuration. Now we'll add banner and domain. So to add banner and domain, you need to go to device, then setup, then management. From the general settings, we need to click on this gear icon. Now we'll add our host name. Host name will be PA Firewall01. And domain name I will use let's config.com hit ok and commit the configuration Now we'll add banner and time. So to do that we need to go to device setup from management general settings and click the gear icon. So we'll add a login banner as unauthorized access is denied. We'll set our time zone. In my case, it will be Asia, Dhaka. Then I will set the time. It will be 9.17. Hit OK. And then commit the configuration. Now we will add DNS and NTP. So we need to go to device, setup, then services. Under the services, we need to click the gear icon. We will add free DNS. DNS IP will be 8.8.8.8. And secondary DNS server will be 4.2.2.1. To add the NTP, we need to go to the NTP tab. We can add our NTP server IP address and also the domain name. Now we need to comment the configuration. Finally, we'll change password for admin account. To do that we need to go to device, then administrators, we need to click on admin, we need to provide the old password as admin and then we will add new password. Hit ok and then commit the configuration.
if you try to re-login first you will see your new banner unauthorized access is denied then try to login with new password From the left you can see PAFW01 is our host name, our management IP 10.1.100 and our gateway is 10.1.1.254. Let's jump to the CLI and see DNS is working or not. In CLI you also able to see the new host name. Let's ping google.com. IP address is resolved that means DNS is working properly. So this is how we do the initial configuration of Palo Alto Firewall. If you find this video helpful please do like and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel.